Hello, my name is Katie St. Norris with St. Norris Wealth Management. And in this video, we're going to learn how to fill out form W-4. Let's get going. First, if you need to locate form W-4, in case your employer didn't provide you with one, you can go to search browser of your choice and type in W-4. You will see irs.gov website and it will say Form W-4 Employees Withholding Certificate. That's the official name for Form W-4. The form was updated in 2020 and the changes were significant. After you click on the form, you will see four pages the form itself, it's only page number one. The rest of the pages will include instructions and worksheets. You can download this form and fill it out on your computer and then print it out or print out and fill out by hand. But again, uh, depending on your employer, you're probably going to receive one at your place of employment. Let's get to the form the form called Employees Withholding Certificate. The form consists of five steps. Only step one, which is your personal information, and step number five are mandatory. Steps two, three, and four are optional. Step number one, your personal information. You will have to fill out your first name and middle initial and your last name. You have to provide your social security number. If you want to make sure that your name matches the name on social security card, they actually provide you with the phone number. You can call and to make sure it matches. Then you have to provide your home address, straight house number or apartment, city, state, and your zip code. In section C, you will have to pick your filing status, your tax filing status. If you don't know, you can refer to your prior tax return and check. It will be single or married filing separately, married filing jointly or qualified widower. And the third option here is head of household. In our example, we're doing married filing jointly. You have to complete steps two through four only if applied to you. If not, you can skip to step number five. If you skip to step number five and you're not going to complete steps two through four, your withholding will be based on your tax filing status. Step number two, you're going to have to fill this out if you have multiple jobs or your spouse works. In our example, we have a husband that has one job and a wife that has one job. You have three options. You only have to do one of the following. You can use a estimator at the irs.gov website, which I highly recommend you use because it will provide the most accurate information. Next option, you will use multiple jobs worksheet on page number three, and then you have to enter the result in step number 4C below. C, you can choose that when you have two jobs that pay similar pay. Say if one is paying 85,000 and another one is 80, you can choose box C. You just mark the box here. The important thing, if you choose to do that, your spouse has to pick the same option on his or her W-4. Now, step number three, your dependents. In our example, income is under 400,000, which means we can use this box. We have one child and you will have to multiply the number of your qualifying children under age of 17 by 2000. Since we have only one child, it's $2,000. You will also have an option to claim your other dependents. Say if your elderly grandparents are living with you and 
you provide more than half of the support and pay for the housing, you can claim those dependent and that number of dependents, you will have to multiply by 500. We don't have any, so you can put zero in here or nothing, and this number will go on your line three. So $2,000 for your one child. Step number four, we have other items that, that we have to look at. That will be other income that is not from your jobs. This will be something like interest or dividends. Or maybe you're getting a statement called 1099R, which is your retirement income. You will put that amount of income in here. Not actually the tax you want to be withheld, but the whole amount. In our example, we receive every year interest of $3,000. And we'll include $3,000 in this box. B. It's your deductions. If you expect to claim deductions other than your standard deduction and you want to reduce your withholding, you're going to have to go and use, it's called the deductions worksheet on page number three and enter the results here. The fact is that standard deduction was significantly raised now, more often, people use the standard deduction, and that 4B will just put zero. Step number five, you have to sign it. If you do not sign it, you forget something happens, it's not valid. You'll have your signature in here, you will put your date. The bottom portion right here is for employers only. This is it. This is how you fill out form W-4. If you're starting a new job or your family situation changed. You got married, you had a child. I highly recommend you update your form W-4. Thank you for watching. Goodbye.